case of Wam, so the Wam, Kumia Sello, Kuhuim Lai, Hawa, Bahasimia Ushai, Bahasimi Kahakadash. There were honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who went well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. We just want to say, what is what the Akim and Akwa? That's out here sincerely keep up the laws, the statutes, and commandments of the Old Bashim El Shai to the best of your ability. Mr. Jacques Kanandawa is coming at you with another quick lesson, friend, that is edifying by the Spirit. And um, this is an article in China. China's top health body urges marriage, childbirth at appropriate ages. And, um, you know, reading into this story, I didn't know that um, China was, I knew that they had kind of like a one child um, hookup or whatever. But I didn't know, like, you know, to the extent of their age ranges and things of that nature. And biblically, China, that those are Moabites. That's their biblical name, Moab, Moabites. And pretty much their brother is um, Japan or the Japanese, which are Ammonites. So when you go up into the story of Lot, when Lot came out of Sodom and Gomorrah, if you're familiar with the story, both of his daughters had sex with him, and they both had sons. And that's where you get the nation of China and Japan today. And you know, the off branches of them too. South Korea, North Koreans, you know what I'm saying? Them Asians of all the sense. They're all the same people. It's just that, you know, they got different different names and shit now. You saw Edom, the so-called white man. He comes through and he causes discord among people and separate people like South Korea, North Korea, same people. Taiwanese, Chinese, all the same people. Japanese, you know what I'm saying? They're all the same people, you know? But now don't get me wrong, Japan, Japanese, and China, they do come from two separate... Well, they come from the same father because Lot was the father of both of them. So they, you know, but as those two sons, they became separate nations, just like how Esau and Jacob became separate nations, basically. So... Let's get into a little bit of the article real quick. It's China's national, and I'm walking right now, so I'm going to walk and talk, so bear with me. China's National Health Commission will focus more efforts on advocating marriage and childbirth at appropriate ages. An official said as authorities struggle to boost declining birth rate that strengthens its population. Right? And so the Lord, how about Shemel Shai? He is the father of spirits. He is in control of the spirit. He's in control of who can have a child or who can't. He's in control of when a baby comes into this world and when a person goes out of this world. Because, um, let me get one scripture real quick. Deuteronomy 32, 39. And it reads, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So the Lord is in total control of who's born and who dies. Scriptures also says that not even a, um, a sparrow shall fall to the ground without him sanctioning it. So when the Lord, when, when two people come together, the scriptures talks about how man's going to the Lord. When those people come together, that's the Lord putting them together. It's not like they just, you know, just met just by faith. You know, you hear these people. It just met and uh, sparks flew and I just knew it was them. You know, Proverbs 20 and 24 says, man's going to the Lord. How, how can a man then understand his own way? So the Lord is the one that puts um, couples together. Well, let's go back into the article real quick. Okay, it says, um, I'm not sure I I'm, I'm butchered his name. You Yu Zhang, Yu Zhang, Yi Zhi Zhang, probably, that's a lot, it's a lot here. Deputy head of the National Health Commission, Commission said the NHC would also call for shared parenting responsibilities to guide young people towards positive perspectives on marriage and childbirth and family, state backed Global Times reported on Thursday. This will help to foster a new culture of marriage and childbearing, you, at, you added. By law, Chinese men, I never knew this, by law, Chinese men can only get married after the age of 22 and women after the age of 20. And that's pretty much 
I guess that's them that was trying to slow up the population, you know, or slow up their birth rate, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Because when you really think about if Lot's daughters really had sex with them, and that's that's pretty much why they look like how they look, you know what I'm saying? Because that's real close incest. The way that they built, you know, built off small and funny, them funny ass eyes, you know. And um when you think about the way that they were put together like that, that once those sons that they had by their father grew up, those sons had to have had sex with them. They probably traded sons, traded off sons. You know what I'm saying? And then they will get pregnant by their sons. Because, you know, Lot had to have gotten older at some point. And then them having sons and daughters, you know, growing up. You know, people lived longer at that time, too. But them growing up. And, um, you know, the, the, the cycle continues. Can you imagine that? So they, they would have been a, a very sexual, sexualized um, community at that time. If you are, you know, just me speaking as a man just by the spirit imagining it because that's the only way that they could have um, kept you know um, their population going so to speak because that's that's the reason why the daughters actually came to lot if you go into the story you know the older sister told the younger sister like hey look roughly paraphrasing you know we're basically going to die off if we don't the only man that's here that can keep us going is our father so they based one do the oldest daughter said i'll get him drunk tonight and you know them drinks, man, it's a bad boy, man, to this day, man. A lot of Jake, you know, wake up, boy, and don't know what the fuck they done done. Boy, then it got so, so, so twisted, <laughs> you know, to this day. But the oldest daughter got him, you know, twisted, went in, laid with him, got pregnant, told the younger daughter, her sister, hey, you do the same tonight. And and they both got, got locked up, knocked up, you know what I'm saying? So from that point on, they had to been very, very sexual. It doesn't say how, you know, a lot asking them, well, how the fuck did y'all get pregnant? You know, where are these men at that, you know, doesn't say that. It doesn't even say if whether or not once they had those babies that they could have possibly had gone in multiple times with their dad. Because you got to realize, OK, it takes, um, you know, of course, uh, 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 children. You know what they would. I, all I can think of is is they had to have had sex with their their moms or, or or who would have been their auntie rather, and that's real close um incest as well. But they would have had to have more than likely as well had could have possibly slept with a lot multiple times, you know, just never know, <laughs> you know, and and who, and who knows, maybe he was at some point could have been possibly with it, you know. But, you know, it doesn't say that in the scriptures, so I'm not, I don't want to add to or take away from the scriptures. I'm just, you know, me speaking as a man, something would have had, had, had to have happened where, you know, they, they, they got busy to the point where it's a billion of the motherfuckers on this planet. You know, it's billions. I think I'm not sure exactly what their population is, but I know they're I know they've been declining for quite some time. But they did have the one child law where, you know, they could only have one child. But. You have to realize that these are people that will eat any goddamn thing. They don't have no type of um. They kind of have some some rule of law right now. Somewhat, but still, you know the way that they live is is it's beastly. It's it's some it's some real beastly um, uh, brute beast type of living that they live. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck. Like I said, what they eat, that says a lot about them in itself. And. I mean, damn. <laughs> uh, I mean, what, what else can you really say about them? I mean, other than they had to been getting down with everybody, sisters, brothers, and it was probably something natural with them too. It probably wasn't no thing for, you know, um, um, sisters and brothers and aunties and uncles and dads and daughters and daughters and dads and all that shit could have been possibly going on because look at the way that they was originated or started, right? But anyway, let's move on with some more of the article because damn, I didn't know this. At 22 for the men and 20 for the women. Um, I mean, you know, in the biblical days, that was never a thing. That age shit. And, and Esau, just so now, he's trying to act as if he's all goddamn righteous. When he was slipping in during slavery, 
and he was sleeping with 12 year old 13 year olds he was he was the first one popping them and impregnating them but now all of a sudden he acts as if he cares so much about the children you know which is a, he's a goddamn hypocrite but in the ancient days that was around the time when a woman got her flower 13 12 13 ish you know they were they were in the um, area of childbearing at that point if you want to just be straight about it you know there were, there were older men you know or fathers that would, would, would basically trade off their daughters to older men for profit so to speak because um, women are on um, property in the scriptures and you know these days a lot of people don't want to hear that because um a lot of these christians they're really not biblical they'll tell you that they love the lord you know they, they speak all this bullshit about how they love 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 but when it comes to the straight get down of the scriptures man the scriptures is gruesome in a lot of areas you know it's beautiful but hey that's why it talks about the bitter and the sweet some things are bitter and some things are very sweet there's there's laws on, on some of everything in the scriptures but when it comes down to um these christians they'll tell you well no i don't believe in that part or well, that part is over with but the scripture says that the lord changed not he's the same forever why would he need to change because you come into a, a day and time where you don't feel like what he's saying is right. He ain't got to change for your ass. He created you. Anyway, I, I mean, this is just kind of weird that um, 22, 20, come on, man. You know, uh, look, at the age of 22, man, Jake B. Ray, hey, Jake B. getting it in, man. <laughs> hey, Jake B. getting it in way, way younger than that, man. Let's just be honest here. Why you think all these these little young ass um 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 young girls be getting pregnant and shit? Because they can, because their body has changed for them to get pregnant. I remember my grandparents, my grandmother, on both on both of my mom and dad, mom and dad's side. You know, I'm not too far out of that generation of shit. In the south, they was already they was chopping it up. Well, nothing for them to get married at 13, 14, and start having um kids. But guess what? That was a different style of being um um raised at the time you learn from a from a very young adult or matter of fact you learn from a, a toddler how to clean the house how to cook how to um do certain things you know those were things because see you didn't have social media like how you had social media when nobody's sitting around on a fucking phone eight hours a day checking their phone every other 10 minutes no there was shit to do when the sun rose you was up and you was doing something you was out in the garden. You was out doing work. Men were out, you know what I'm saying, flying a damn field trying to keep some food in the refrigerator or, or, or in a in a, in an ice box or what they were called it back in the days. Women were up washing clothes, plucking a real chicken, man, making fucking food from scratch. These bitches won't even um <laughs> sloppy for the language. Won't even won't even uh, you know they mad about putting a microwave dinner in the damn oven, um 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 microwave for your ass these days. Talk about something from scratch. They would actually get up, man, and pluck a real chicken. Dress that motherfucker, man. The made cornbread. The made, you know, them, 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 you know, fucking uh, 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 shucking peas, man, shucking corn. Real organic stuff back then. So they had work to do. It wasn't like today. So as the young girls was growing up, the parents already knew. The, the mother already knew. It was biblical. You know, you already knew. Teach the young daughters to do what they're supposed to do. Once they get married, they will know how to keep a house. The men learned what to do as kids. They got up. They, you know, they ran alongside the goddamn plow with the father, man. They got up. It was milking damn cows. They got up. They was fucking feeding the, the, the sheep or something or whatever the case may be. They were doing work, man. So their learning process as to how to be adults was nothing. So by the time they turned 13, 14, it was nothing for them to go ahead and get married off because and, and it was ready. And a lot of those times when you see the movie Color Purple, a lot of the times those younger women. 13 was was fucking sold off by the dad to to a guy that could have been easily in his 30s, could have been even 40. Easy, nothing. Nothing. That daughter ended up becoming his property and he treated her as so, so to speak, you know, his wife. And she she reared that goddamn house while he was out making, um, you know, doing doing what needed to be done to bring home that bacon, what they call it. Right. 
So, just wanted to just touch on that for a second, man. We're definitely living in on some very, very different times where people don't understand that type of lifestyle, man. Okay, it says, the move. It's a lot. God damn, Eda might be around. This ear hustle. It says, the move comes as Beijing tries to incentivize more women to have children after China's population fell for a second consecutive year in 2023 and birth and births fell to a record low. So they're trying to pay or they're trying to, you know, come up with some. It's a lot of countries that hey, they paying families, man, to um, have children. And these goddamn Americans, they have made it so hard for you to actually raise a, a family. It's crazy. Don't you, these hey, these kids. I think um, it was a report the other day I seen. They were talking about one in four of these new millennials or whatever the fuck was talking about how they, you know, they, they, they're they not interested because they can't afford it. And you thinking one out of four people of, you know what I'm saying, a couple hundred million people, that's a lot of fucking people. So your population dwindles. And that's all by, um you know, Esau Edom because he's the goddamn wicked. The Lord says be fruitful and multiply. But this man says, uh-uh, no. The earth is being overpopulated. We don't have enough food. But you got, um, I just done a lesson the other day on this, on, on the seed bank that they got on some goddamn island over towards Norway or some shit. Supposedly a, a seed bank with millions of different types of seeds in case there's an apocalypse. But you got all the fucking seeds, all this land out here. But you dictating who can live and who can't live, you know what I'm saying, so to speak. But that's all about the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh because he's allowing this man to um to run his course on the, on the left-hand side. And he's about done, man. Because these so-called white people, they're not being born like that neither. Shit, um, it, it was um, a hookup where, and I would have to um, fact check it a little bit more, but I believe it, where um, Japan supposedly was trying to ship in some Negroes to come in there and impregnate them women. But guess what? If they come in and impregnate your women, if we come in and impregnate your women, they're Israelites at that point. They're no longer um, um, Ammonites. They're not you no more. Those kids are going to be what we are because your seed line goes through your dad. Right. OK, it says the number of marriages in the first half of the year fell to its lowest because at mostly these people are trying to be Americans. That's what these come that they drinking of that um that Babylonian juice, man. They drinking of that wine of great Babylon, uh, uh, this, this 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 mystery whore. And they've taken on the ways of this place, man. So those women that's over there, they don't want them to do it. No, don't no families no more. They want to go in, 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 in Instagram man. they want to go to Starbucks in the morning. And, and, and do their blogs and shit. They want to, you know, on um, their careers and shit, man. Right? That's what they want to do. They want to have their careers. They might have, you know, get into that point. And a lot of them, you know, they freezing damn eggs. The fuck you freezing eggs for? That's just stupid as hell. Doing all this artificial shit. You see? This is what they're doing, man. They don't want anything to do with traditional life. They want to be Americans. That's exactly what's going on. They don't want nothing to do with with, with regular. Uh, 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 wouldn't even fucking know what to do with raising a damn baby, man. Shit, Kamala and them were saying, hey, it's stressful for y'all to uh, basically uh, uh, have children, so just don't do it. Cause you know she's, I call her the baby killer, boy. She, I ain't never seen no no woman. Well, she don't have no kids of her own, but I've never seen no woman so adamant about abortion, man. Like, god damn, you running your whole campaign. On, on, on what you call it, women's rights, you know, right to my body bullshit. But really, in reality, that's a nice way of saying, hey, I'm going to kill these goddamn babies. Kill them babies. Anyway, says much of China's demographic downturn is the result of China's one child policy imposed between 1980 and 2015, as well as expensive education costs that have put many Chinese off having more than one child at any time. Or any at all. Well, if you push that, then that's all they're gonna think. They, 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 you here in America, you don't really see them having children like that. That's rare. You don't see these these on um, these these so-called Chinese people in America having. You might see two children at most, maybe three. I've never seen a, a you know you just walking through a mall and it's a group of damn Chinese kids bouncing all over their dad and mom or some shit. Six or seven of them. No, you don't see that shit, man. Because matter of fact. They're, they're pretty selfish fucking people 
because really all they're thinking about is money themselves. They, they That's a greedy ass nation of people as well. Those are some greedy ass people, man. Right. So it says. The NHC's you said China's changing demographics of a low birth rate and rapid aging were a natural outcome of economic and social development, but added. The committee was asking. The committee, let's see, was asking for uh, persistent efforts from all localities to promote sustainable demographic de development. So, and that's pretty much it. That's the um, article on um, in Rudders. But yeah, I'm at the plantation. I kind of just got a little something to do, so I got to go ahead and, 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 and squeeze the spot, man. But you know, hey, pray that the lesson was edifying. And hey, we're living in the last days, man. And overall, you know, the Lord, he kind of got a lot of these spirits already here. You know what I'm saying? To um, get that, that judgment that's going out, right? So, yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can get this done here real quick. So, so lock you for that. Um, but with that, man, hey, I pray that the lesson is edifying, man. Come on, y'all, and above the book.